should be real. Hey guys, so I'm in my bathroom again. I feel like my last vlog ended in my bathroom too, but um, today's a new week and well, it's Sunday, but it's very late. I slept all day. I just told you guys the other day that I don't sleep in anymore. You know, I'm so rude. Well, rewind. If you're new, hi, my name is Natasha. Welcome back to my channel. Um, we do a lot of fun stuff on the channel, makeup, hair, blogs, all that stuff. So go ahead and subscribe. If you are not, or if you've made it this far, just go ahead and subscribe. Just go ahead, go ahead. So anyways, I'm starting off this vlog very crusty because I need to get it together for this week. I have a full week ahead of me. Um, today's Sunday. I didn't have to do anything. Like I said, I ended up sleeping all day, which has not been me lately, but it was me today. So um, today's Mother's Day. So I went to my mom's house. And like we ate and we kiki ki and we knocked out. Like I was like, I gotta go home. I have to finish editing this video and I need to get my life. So tomorrow's Monday. Um, it's kind of a free day, but I'm gonna utilize it and make it a work day. So I have a video that I need to do tomorrow. And then Tuesday, I have to record. Wednesday, I have clients and my friend's birthdays this week. So she asked me to do her hair. <laughs> I'm so tired. <laughs> She's been doing her hair, so I need to do her hair Wednesday, and I might try to record on Wednesday. But I don't think I have anything that I have to record. I'm trying to get like all like my sponsored stuff out of the way instead of waiting last minute. So maybe I'll get some editing done. We shall see. Thursday we have this black tie event to go to, so um, have to get ready for that. Friday work. Saturday. Um, Saturday is my friend's birthday party. She's having like a brunch situation. And then Sunday, me and Aaliyah are supposed to be going out for tea. So, yes, tea. So I do have a busy week. I, it's up here, so I need to get my life. So this wig was cute. It is, well, whoa. <laughs> it is cute. It just hasn't been brushed. But this install, you guys, lasted me. Oh, not even coming up. But it lasted me like three days. It's run its course. It's time to move forward. So this is literally how I take my wigs off. You guys ask all the time. This is just water. Just all that's in there is water and boom. So that's done. Gonna toss her to the side. And I actually have a V part wig that I'm gonna be putting on tomorrow. Um, I'm not sure I gotta kind of plan out the content because I want to do a get ready with me but I feel like if I do a get ready with me I have to take a picture and I'm not really in the mood to take a picture um but we shall see so I need to wash my hair I got some hair products last week if you guys saw my last vlog I went to Ulta so I'm about to wash my hair with the product Ooh, it feels so good um and I actually just washed my hair last week but I use this crunchy gel and it's making my hair so hard and I hate that. So I also need to go tomorrow to the store to get the As I Am gel because that's the only gel that I like on my hair. Um, so I need to do that. So I'm about to hop in the shower, wash my hair. obviously uh, and um i use the shampoo and where is it at and the mask for the first time so if you missed my last vlog i told you guys that i picked up these new products by andrew fitz simmons and um he just came out with his own line he's a celebrity hairstylist i use the prism shine shampoo which is a glossy shampoo with hyaluronic acid for dull hair. And I did two shampoos. So the first shampoo, I was like, okay, my hair's still feeling a little 
<laughs> not clean but the second one it just felt really good lathered it up i'm not sure about shine necessarily oh not the gray hair but um it's cool now the mask the, the virgin repair reconstructing mask for damaged hair you guys i instantly when i was washing this out i felt like my hair just feels so much softer than it did before um i really like this one and it smells amazing um, I left it in my hair while I was um, showering. So like I shampoo my hair, put this in, lather up my body, do my whole shower routine and then rinse this out at the end. So it was in there for about uh, give or take five to ten minutes. I don't know. And, you know, I'm always open to trying new hair products, whether it's marketed towards white people, black people, in between people. Uh, uh, uh. I know my hair type. I know what my hair likes. So. I know typically I need to do, I need to buy anything for dry hair, damaged hair, or dull hair. And I only say that not because my hair is damaged, but because I relax my hair. So that automatically, I need life being put back into my hair. I don't need anything for volume. I don't need anything for thin hair. I don't need anything for dandruff. Like there's a lot of different things. So I do things that are geared towards my hair. And a lot of people always buy like black hair care, which I buy and support but believe it or not a lot of these black hair care products are formulated by white people so buy what you like buy what works for you okay okay so i'm just putting that out there because if you look up andrew his clientele is caucasian based i'm sure he knows how to do all types of hair but it might you might shy away from it because of that but baby that's what i'm here for okay to show y'all the proof is in the pudding so anyways now i'm going to be using this 10 in 1 leave-in conditioner which i think is going to be similar to my it's a 10 um oh, i'm about to say which i like lather my hair in that stuff um i love the it's a 10 because it like instantly brings life back to my hair after my wash routine so this is basically what i do to my hair every week or every other week um, this time I'm just using different products. I'm trying to see. It kind of smells like the, um, not kind of, it does smell like the um, the mask. I think this is like in the same line. Um, the It's a 10 smells like salt water. It smells like the beach to me. So I just lather this up. And if anybody has a good suggestion on like a hair oil, Please let me know. I was using the um, Olaplex bonding oil and like I used it all because it was like, what is it, like a $30 oil or something? But it like wasn't my favorite, honestly. It wasn't my favorite, but I used it. And you know, I used to use a um, rat tail comb, like the really thin comb to comb through my hair, but I felt like that was actually pulling my hair. So I went back to a wide tooth comb whenever I'm like combing through my conditioner or anything like that, just to be a little bit more gentle on my hair because y'all, my my hair is, my hair or my head, I'm tender headed, whatever. So I need to be gentle. And I'm gonna be using the um, serum. This is also for damaged hair as well. So it says use two to three pumps. Nothing coming out yet. Don't come for me. Oh, so it's like a, it's like a white, <laughs> a white serum. I'm used to like clear serums, and this smell. Oh, it smells so good. Um, this one's more of like a light styling cream, I would say. So I'm just gonna apply that all over. I did not see a heat protectant, so I'm gonna like double back and see. But I would have liked a heat protectant, especially because well. I'm saying that as if I don't have any, but just for the sake of like wanting to buy from one brand or something. So yeah, I didn't see that, but you know, maybe the serum protects my hair or something. So I would only use this on damp hair. It says apply on damp hair. I could not, the, the texture of this, I couldn't imagine putting, um, putting this on dry hair and then styling it. I feel like it will revert your hair, so it's best to just use this on damp hair. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, you know, go on about my night. I need to see if my video uploaded first off. Um, 
And I'm gonna do my little, you know, body routine. You guys, I just did a maintenance vlog, so check that out. But my hair is looking pretty good. Okay. Oh no, I've been on it, okay? Taking care of myself. And I think it shows. I have gotten so many comments. I need to put this up real quick. I'll figure out what I'm gonna do, because I, hmm, I don't wanna put too much product on my hair, but I'm gonna do it tomorrow. But anyway, I, have been getting so many comments on like how you guys are liking my content, how you guys have seen like my mood changing. And I just want to say I appreciate it. I am, you know, feeling great. And I'm just happier with my content. I don't know what happened. I think I was kind of in a in a slump, in a dump, because I wasn't happy with my content. I felt like it was just very stagnant. And I just, you know, switched up the things. And here we are. So I'm probably gonna go to bed. I'm probably gonna see you guys tomorrow. Now that I'm thinking about it, you guys know I told you I have all this stuff to do this week. I'm probably gonna wake up early and go to the mall. I need some shoes for this dress that I'm wearing. Let me show you guys, hold on. So, 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 so. Um, yeah, good night, you guys. It's literally like four o'clock in the morning. It's literally four o'clock in the morning. So, I will see you guys tomorrow. What a day is. Tuesday so <laughs> I did not vlog yesterday because I was out with my mom and we just were like running around and it was I wasn't even supposed to go out I was like mom I have work to do she's like no let's just get this done let's get this out of the way so I was gone all day yesterday um but today's a new day it's actually late in the day because I did a lot at home um I did a lot at home I woke up I did wake up kind of late I don't know what was wrong with me yesterday. My mom really drained me. Like, I did not wake up until um, 12. But anyways, you know me. I've been getting my stuff done regardless. So I woke up. I opened my bedroom door and my my whole, like, living room, kitchen, everything looked like somebody, like, threw up. There was just stuff everywhere. Not physically threw up, but, like, just a mess everywhere. So I'm like, okay, no, we're going to get this together. So I cleaned up. I shined everything, scrubbed everything, put everything where it belonged. Um... I um, got some other stuff done on the computer, like, you know, um, emails. I s uploaded my clips so that when I get back home, I can edit them. Because sometimes it takes a little second for it to upload from the SD card. Um, and then I got some other stuff together. And then now I'm just running some errands because I got stuff to do. So I'm definitely going to the mall. I need to go to Sally's. I need to go to Target. Uh... I hope I find some shoes. I typically never have a problem going to Dillard's to find shoes. Like, if you ever need to find shoes last minute for, like, an event or something, go to Dillard's. I know it seems like very, like, we're out, we're over the department store thing. But, like, if you ever need, like, a good pair of shoes for the low low. Because I feel like places like Ego and Public Desire and all that, I like them. But the shoes are not very good quality. They work, but they're not good quality. If you want an affordable quality shoe, just go to a department store. It never fails. So I'm about to go there. I need to go to Sally's because I need some gel for my hair because, baby, I don't know what's going on. And the other gel that I have makes my hair so crunchy. So I didn't get to use gel today. I was, like, spraying it and, like, trying to swoop it. So, um, yeah. And then I need to go to Target because I want to pick up some makeup stuff because I want to do a makeup video. Um, and then I want to – I need toothpaste. Like, I use my last drop of toothpaste. And I'm like, mm-mm. So, yeah, I need to do that. And, yeah, so I'm at Starbucks right now. I've been sitting in this same spot for literally, like, five minutes. Normally, Starbucks is, like, you know, their service is, like, Chick-fil-A. Um, but I don't know what's going on right now. But I'm just going to get a refresher. I already had my coffee this morning at home. But I need something to hold me over because, also, I need to figure out what I'm eating for dinner tonight. I'm definitely not cooking. I'm not in the mood for that. Um, venti mango dragon fruit lemonade refresher, please, with light ice. Anything else? No, that's it. Thank you. Y'all, so tell me why I am at Starbucks, right? And I get a mango dragon fruit lemonade refresher. And I said with light eyes. So I see, you know how it like comes up on the screen? So I see something. Which way should I go? This way. I see something added for a dollar twenty-five, but like I don't think much of it. But it just like went away. I saw a dollar twenty-five and then it said my total. And I was like, okay, like I just drove forward, whatever. So I get to the window and she's handing me my drink and it has this like foamy stuff on top. I'm like, I said, what is that? She was like, oh, you asked for light chocolate uh, 
sweet cream foam what what on my lemonade refresher i know people do crazy things i know people add cream chocolate though chocolate cr girl no so she was like oh sorry like that it looked really nasty like <laughs> it was so gross so now i see why it took so long because she's not taking orders correctly and they need to not have her on the headset no shade no tea so anyways now that that's over let me um oh and let's talk about it is this a plastic straw or um oh it's a paper straw y'all seen them turtles on tiktok i'm gonna keep using plastic straws okay because i'm trying to save your life and you are being racist <laughs> goodbye <laughs> Okay, so I did pretty much everything. Anyways, I did pretty much everything that I needed to. Um, why am I like dropping everything? There was no reason to touch my car when you passed it. Like there's too much space in this parking lot. But anyways, so I finished everything that I needed. Um, I might go back to the mall or something if I think about it. I went to the mall in my area and it's very lackluster like. I already knew that but you can make do with what you know they got I really just don't want to go to Lenox or anything like that um, perimeter doesn't have anything um, and like I said I just don't have time to order anything online so I'm not even gonna set myself up for failure <laughs> so I'll show you guys the shoes that I ended up getting there's this other pair that I really wanted well not really wanted but that would have been cute um, but the strap would not go around my ankle and I'm like I don't even have a thick ankle don't do that don't do that but i didn't get that i just got these they're just really simple just a cute little you know oh little bedazzled moment you know a regular heel they're really comfortable um but yeah i really like them and it's one of those shoes that one of those pairs of shoes that i'll keep in my closet for occasion so they like cross in the back like this and then they tie around and it's very simple i actually like these a little bit better than the other ones because the other ones were just a lot these i feel like are a little bit more versatile so this is gonna go up my dress just fine and i think these were let's see if they're i think they were 89 there's a receipt let's see they were 89.99 so not too bad like i said very comfortable very sturdy nice staple in the closet and i don't know who they're by it's by chelsea and violet i've never heard of that but whatever um i did make it to sally's oh i found a clutch i don't really like it that much but in case i can't find anything else i really just wanted a silver clutch um this will work i like how slouchy it is though like you know like clutches be like hella like stiff i don't like that i like how um this is so when i hold it it's gonna be just like in my hand like this who not making that <laughs> sorry my friend sexy so i do kind of like this so this might go um well i know it will go but you know it works and this was i think 69 so 69 50 from macy's um i actually just went to Nordstrom's rack they didn't have when i say Nordstrom's rack looks like it literally looks like a ross like and you know how I feel about Ross. If you don't know, I just do not like Ross. Like, I be trying to do Ross, but Ross is just too chaotic. I'm more of like a TJ Maxx, Home Goods, um, Marshalls. Even Marshalls is like put together. Ross? No, man. You be finding gems in Ross, but it's just too chaotic. So, like, I don't know what's going on with Nurturing's Rack, but it's just like all over the place. I feel like people don't shop in the stores because, like, why? Why haven't they? Okay, I get it brands are making money online without having to worry about the overhead of like rent and a store and employees but if people had access to online stores in person they would still shop there like um but i did stop at sally's right before they closed like she literally locked the door right after i got there i said i'm sorry but i got my gel um i got my gel I love this gel. This is like the best gel. It doesn't make your hair hard and crunchy, but it like slicks it. Like this looks crazy. Oh, that's what I needed to get. I needed to get a rinse for my hair. Well, I needed a rinse. Uh, I also picked up this um 
pomegranate and passion fruit grow oil i'm gonna try this my hair is very sensitive to oil but when i was parting my hair yesterday my scalp was literally white like it it is struggling so i need some kind of oil i'm gonna oil my scalp tonight and then um i got this dye um because i'm supposed to be doing okay today i was supposed to do my video for my recreation series and i could not think of um who to do so yeah enough of that good morning guys so today is thursday and i did not pick up my camera yesterday because what had happened was <laughs> i first of all i should have my bonnet on i need to change my pillowcase whenever i fall asleep like this I changed my pillowcase because I have product on my hair and then I have to put my face on my pillowcase and it's just bad. But anyways, so um, yesterday was um, my eye in the morning be like burning. Anyways, yesterday was um, I look pretty this morning. You know how sometimes you wake up and you just look so like, like flushed and like pretty and airy? Yes. But like I was saying, um, yesterday I went to work and I ended up doing my friend's hair and I fell asleep. I literally just fell asleep as soon as she left. So I need to get up and get myself together. Um, today's the black tie event, so I need to do my hair. I decided yesterday that I want to do like a sleek, long ponytail. I never do ponytails. You guys never see me do ponytails, and I think that would be really cute. Like I want to do it kind of like effortlessly and soft, but that's the vibe. So I'm about to get up and get my house together and then um, start this ponytail. So I will see you guys momentarily. All right, so unfortunately, I need to wash my hair again. Um, and I just washed it a few days ago, but I want more of a softer, pressed out look for my ponytail. Okay, Tasha. Um, I don't want like that sleek look like I've been wearing with my sleek bun. The sleek bun I love, you know, the little slick back look, but I want something like just more... I don't know. I can't understand it. We're, we're going to see because I haven't done a ponytail in so long. I know y'all probably so tired of me doing my hair, but it's a part of my life. Um, and I should have done this last night, but like I said, I fell asleep. So I should have actually done this last night, not an hour ago. I should have done this last night, but then I didn't want to fall asleep. I knew I was going to fall asleep. I didn't want to fall asleep and have like oil all over me and my, and my sheets and whatever, but whatever. I'm going to use a Fable and Maine. Um, hair oil you like apply it before you shampoo your hair and um that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna put it because my scalp you guys i really do like doing this because i i feel the difference in my scalp not even just my hair well you know scalp health helps with hair health but um, my hair be soft but my scalp be literally like white it be screaming you guys i found my hair i don't remember if last year you guys saw when i wanted to do a um ponytail i literally bought this last year and i thought about it last night when i was doing my friend's hair i said i can do a ponytail and i'm sure i have bundles but i'm just going to use this so this is uh two inches of the 24 i thought i bought 30 inch but these are also very long and i'm going to do like an illusion ponytail so it's going to appear longer anyways so um that's fine this is going to be perfection all right so i just shampooed my hair and now i'm about to apply this color so the reason really why I didn't do this last night is because I didn't think I had color, um, which I know I have color, but for my hair and I was going to run to Walmart and I'm like, well, Walmart doesn't sell like rinses. I don't dye my hair unless I'm doing like a drastic color. And you guys really never see me dye my hair. Other than that, I'm like a rinse does just fine. Like I'm already relaxed. Let's not push it. I actually should have just applied it straight onto my hair now that I think about it. But I wanted to mix it. Um, I'm just gonna brush it on, child. Hope it don't get on nothing. And a rinse is not gonna ruin your hair. It's literally like, think of like henna for your hair. Like it just kind of coats your hair. Dye when you start using like developer and all that, that bleach. That's when you start ruining your hair. So, oh no. Oh my God, I need my towel. I need the towel, I need the towel. All right, so hopefully that keeps everything trapped in. And of course I got my hands dirty, but not my nails. And I'll see you guys in a second. I just got back in from work. Um, I actually put in my deep conditioner or my hair mask. This one, I absolutely love it. I told you guys that earlier in the vlog. Um, and I just let it sit while I do my clients because who gonna check me? 
I'm the boss. So I like put my hair up in a banana clip and let it do its thing. And I literally just came home and whew, rinsed it out. But you guys, honestly, blow drying my hair is my least favorite part of doing my hair, period. Like, I hate, 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 hate blow drying my hair. That's why I just let my hair hair dry most of the time. But uh, blow drying it is the best for this style. And even if I let my hair air dry, I would still go ahead and blow dry it just for that smooth look. So I'm about to go ahead, crank this thing up. Alright, so my hair actually blow dried fairly fast. My hair is so soft, but I was actually just reading this and this is, this is a protein based um, product. So I cannot use this as much as I would like to because putting too much um, protein in your hair can definitely break your hair. So I'm going to have to like take a break from that for the next week or so. Just kind of rotate my products. So boom, you guys, I, can, I can't believe I can do a ponytail now. That's crazy. You see how I got this little in the back? You have to slick her up, honey. So um, I'm just going to sit here because flat ironing my hair is not going to be the quickest. I'm going to try to make it quick because I don't need to do like a silk press. I just want my hair to literally look smooth. That's the goal. Smooth so that when I put my hair up, I don't have to use too much gel and stuff. It's just going to be like a smooth kind of look. So I'm going to be using my Conair flat iron. And um, and um, my mini one for around my edges. So I'm gonna add a little bit more serum. Okay, I don't even have a heat protectant because like I don't. All my heat protectant I feel like are water based, so they kind of revert my hair. So I ran through my hair so quickly, so. I knew my phone was going to drop so quickly. I didn't do it like super duper straight. I'll probably do like the perimeter again. Because that's all that really matters. But I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to get this up. Nice and sleek. that was so easy i've never done it with like the got to be i always do like beeswax and then like gel and then it starts reverting but it was so easy and it's like in place but it doesn't look like hard it's still gonna give me that soft look that i like so i use the got to be pretty much all over and then i use this one in the back because i really had them flyaways and it's literally like up it's up and it's stuck i'm not gonna show the back of my head because i don't like the back of my neck like, well, not the back of my neck. I have like a little thin spot in the back. So like, if you see me, you see, you'll see it. But I'm not going to expose myself online like that. So yeah. Um, so yeah. And then I just did this one in the front again, because it's like a softer hairspray. You could really just get away with the got to be, but I have all these things. So I'm going to use my tings. Um, and it smells really good too. So now... I'm going to do these baby hairs and then I'm going to do a black strip around while I wrap the ponytail around. So that was actually really easy. Wow. You guys like it's giving. I watched Simone Charisse video, this one, and it was super easy. I like, is it going to focus? Can you guys see it? You guys can't see it. I don't know. Can you guys see it now? I think you can. Um, Yeah, it popped up on her video and I literally did it with her. So I think next I really want to do like the Barbie ponytail because I might be a ponytail girl, okay? And I don't want to hear nobody talking about uh, me flipping my baby hairs as if we don't put heat on our hair anyways. I do not care. I feel like the baby hairs lay a certain way when you curl them. I can't explain it, but it really does. Like, it just curls a certain way, like, 
it just does. Yeah, I'm gonna need a little edge control, honey. I mean, I don't really like that soup in the front. Let me see. Yeah, I don't like it on me. I don't know what it is. I just don't like that. <laughs> Not on me, at least. So I'm gonna just slick that back. Wow, at this point, I am, I might be untouchable. I might be able to do long braids, all types of stuff. So now just to finish it off, I suggest like a shine spray or something, like some kind of maybe oil sheen, you know, that's real cheap. Um, I have this Prism Shine, which is an invisible shine spray for dull hair. I just feel like gel kind of like takes away that, that like healthy look sometimes. Or not, yeah, hair, did I say gel? I feel like gel... Uh, 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 bring it back. I feel like hairspray takes away from that soft, healthy look. Like, you see, it doesn't look bad because my hair, you know, I did the damn thing today. But it can use a little bit more shine. So I'm just going to kind of like go all up in there. Get that shine. Chow my um. My um camera started overheating like this camera. <gasps> oh, there you go. This camera just does not do what it needs to do. So um, I just wrap my hair so that when I'm twisting this ponytail around and I did a little braid. I don't think I'm going to add to it. I'm going to just leave it because I can't even find braiding hair and I really don't want to complicate things or hate my hair. So I'm going to just leave things and <laughs> leave things how they are. Okay, so I actually want my ponytail to be longer and I know my mom or Courtney has braiding hair because they always get braids. So I'm gonna run over to the house and get some. If not, I'm gonna stop at the beauty supply store up the street and I will be back. So like I thought, Courtney had braiding hair and this was literally the worst braiding hair that I have ever used. It was this one, don't get this. Like it literally got so tangled. Look how much I had to cut off while I was braiding. Like why is it tangling as I'm braiding? Like this is why braiders only use specific hair so my braid is trash but it'll work it's a little longer so um my ponytail is gonna have a little length to it so i don't know if i'm gonna need one bundle or two i honestly i honestly think this ponytail is too thick but we ain't going back now it's too late y'all I mean, maybe it's not too thick uh what is this let me just brush it can i brush this and you can put heat on this up to 450. So I'll probably run the flat iron through it really quick right before I leave. Oh, it's cute. I actually, okay, okay, okay. We might be onto something. For my first like official ponytail, not terrible. Not terrible. I need to fix the base and yeah, I'm gonna start my makeup because this base is terrible. Oh my gosh. So my ponytail is literally pissing me off. Like it's something about this base area that's just not that's why i have it wrapped so it could like be not so annoying i just don't want to look at it um i know it will come together but i'm gonna flat iron this um once i'm like done i can heat it up to 400 so i'm gonna go ahead and flat iron it and just wish for the best but i'm gonna do my makeup so i want to do like a smoky a black smoky and i want to kind of um wing it out or whatever and yeah so hopefully my makeup comes out good y'all you guys would probably tell not only is this ponytail annoying me but like people just really know how people just really know how to get to you and it's actually the most annoying thing so i want to do more of a straight brow tonight so i'm gonna have to cover that up but yeah people just are really annoying and i like have been doing really good you know what I'm saying? I'm trying to like let things go, move forward in my life and not bother anybody, not let anybody bother me. And it's like people just poke and poke and poke. And it's so frustrating. Like I have been through hell and back. Oh my gosh, I don't want to cry. Oh my gosh. I feel like I have been through hell these last few months. And it's like, not these last few months. I've been doing better, like I said, but prior to that, it just was like so much and there's always something or someone that will trigger the hell out of you and it's like it takes so much out of you just to like not give that person a, a reaction or let them get the best of you and it's like uh, I don't even know what I'm saying right now I just am just with the ponytail and with my freaking phone going off it is just 
trigger like trigger okay and it's just annoying me and then my nails doing this weird thing like right here on like these two fingers are like raw like they feel like it's like been torn or something which it probably has and it just hurts so bad so like I'm like spraying my hair for this ponytail and the alcohol is like burning my fingers it's just really terrible right now but I'm trying not to let anybody get to me and that's why I get in my moods like and I haven't been in a mood in a while but like oh I feel like the way I'm feeling I need to just cry and get it over with before I continue my day because I've almost cried like three times in the last hour um but it's I'm really okay it's just like I said triggers people trigger you things trigger you just gonna do my makeup and be pretty be a bad bitch <laughs> eyeshadow on the wall yes 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 it looks how i want it. i wish i was more contoured but um yeah so i'm about to take this off so y'all can see the catastrophe that's happening oh. Ciao. i've been up since five y'all did i say that i've been up since five this is looking so stupid like when i try to take a picture it looks so stupid. Okay, guys. So, let me close the blinds. So, or just open it more? I don't know. Oh, no. Close it. <laughs> so, guys. um, I did a bun instead because let me tell you about this damn ponytail. It was slipping and sliding. So, we're going to do the bun. I think the bun looks better with the dress anyways. It's like up and out. And then this is my dress. Okay. And then the clutch I have on the shoes um, that we bought the other day. And the clutch. I really don't like the clutch that much, but I don't have another black bag, so it's just going to have to do. But um, this is the fit. I'll try to get a better angle later, but I'm about to leave. And I'm kind of annoyed because... Whew, who's calling me? Julian. Oh, where's my phone? Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay, y'all. I will see y'all at the event. Guys, everyone, welcome to Mustache. Thank you so much for participating in this event. I really appreciate you putting this time to come here. And give it to me.
y'all so it's obviously the next day and i look toe up from the floor i did not even do my skincare routine so i'm looking real dry y'all know i've been looking real moisturized but um it's looking real struggly right now um but i wash my face though and wash my hands. okay um i have literally i have literally been sleeping all day it's now 1 20 um i have work at two but i left early because i need to um get something to eat before i go to work um and yeah i was supposed to either run errands today it was Keishara's birthday yesterday but she's having a birthday party tomorrow and i was supposed to get her gift y'all know i'm last minute i'm supposed to get her gift and i was supposed to finish editing this video for a sponsorship and get this reel up for last night i did a reel yesterday couldn't do any of it i was just literally like in bed like mm. and then you guys know i was in a funky little mood um yesterday like just a little bit once i saw my friends and everything i was cool but i was like in a little bit of a funk but you know it's cool you know i'm human i try to like i don't want to say i try but i'm very hard on myself so how can i explain this like I get more upset that I let people anger me or upset me because it's like, girl, it's not that serious. So I just was like more annoyed at that. Um, but I, I just had a conversation with somebody and maybe this will help somebody too. And, I, and it's crazy because when I woke up, I've been up, I just literally couldn't get out the bed. Um, I actually been up since eight o'clock. That's kind of sick. Cause I was supposed to be getting work done. But anyways, um, I was um, I was watching this video and I was letting it play right before I left the house. And I was like my friend earlier, and it's like you know, don't compromise yourself at all for anybody, friend, relationship, family. You are who you are, and I'm not saying be an effed up person, but don't settle and don't compromise for anybody because just don't just don't just don't just don't do it just don't do it if you're i i don't know just don't do it okay do not do it if you have set a standard for yourself if you have yeah if you have set a standard for yourself that is what it is especially at our grown age we're all growing every day but i just feel like for the most part you know what you want in life and what you expect from people in your life you know what i'm saying so don't settle and if people if the other party, whoever that may be, is always like, oh, you think you're better than me or tries to make you feel bad for wanting certain things a certain way and not even materialistic, just in general, the way they treat you and all that kind of stuff, then they got to go like period, like just period. OK, I'm speaking in motherfucking hieroglyphics right now, but if you get it, you get it. You better be skateboarding. Um, yeah, that's just how I feel. I feel like I always, you know, I have in the past been a people pleaser because I don't want to upset people. And I've noticed since I've been standing my ground a lot. And this isn't my friendships. This is even with my mom, my brother, my sister, whoever the heck. We butt heads more because I'm not giving into what they want or I'm not doing things how they want. And it's crazy how you can do and do and do and do and do for people. But the second you don't, it's a problem. Like, that to me is just crazy. Like, that is crazy. I'm kind of just rambling and ranting. But whatever. But yeah, you guys. Be who you are. Be the best you you could be. Don't settle. Do not settle for shit. Okay? From anybody you don't deserve that Ugh, my eyes I have the biggest headache and I'm just trying to figure out why I have a headache when I did not even drink like that and I look like crap like I look I need to get some food in my system and rehydrate because I do not want to be in my clients faces looking like who did it and why that's not cute that's not cute you know what you know what's so funny, you guys? I used to, when I first started doing makeup, I was obviously younger. I was like 21, I want to say. Maybe 21, 22. 22-ish. Um, and when I first started doing makeup, 
I was obviously a young adult. <laughs> I was going out a lot. I would literally, you guys, be out till like 3, 4 o'clock in the morning, have a client at 7, and be like dragging. I would make it though. Very rare I like oversleep and stuff. I have before, but very rare. Like very. Like I can count the number of times. But um, I would be in there. I'm talking like a headache. Have to like, oh, one second please. And go throw up. And then come back to the client. Like I just really had a it was like a year in of that kind of lifestyle like going out and working going out and working yeah I was getting stuff done but I was not performing my best because obviously if I'm hungover or I'm drunk or whatever the heck I'm trying to get you out of my face I'm not doing the best work and that's I don't like that so about a year in which is a lot because I was going out a lot like when I say I was literally going out like four days a week minimum why but anyways um i just realized like i can't live like this anymore like this is not good for business so that's how i became a grandma guys i've been a grandma a few years now but i'm okay with it because i get my work done um i told you guys i'm still trying to create balance um because i want to do everything that's the problem like i'd be having so many ideas like even with youtube like i'm vlogging so i have to vlog I ignored my mom earlier. I didn't feel like talking. <laughs> um, I want to vlog. I want to do makeup videos. I want to do hair videos. I want to do get ready with me videos. I want to do this makeup workshop. I want to do Q and A's. I want to do everything. I want to do cooking. Like I want to do everything, and it's only one of me. And then on top of it, like I want to hang out with my friends. I want to hang out with um, my mom, my sister and stuff. I want to I want to date. You know what I'm saying? It's like I be wanting to do so much. And baby, I'm only one person. I'm only one person. And like it's just it's just hard finding a balance. But I'm going to get it cuz I'm a Libra and that's what we do. We're actually very unbalanced. I think the scale represents us wanting balance. We ain't got it. There's no way the scale is is, is representing actual balance we're very unbalanced i've literally been talking to y'all for like 10 minutes about nothing wasting my memory card space i'm gonna see y'all later <laughs> so today is saturday guys i cannot believe i am really blogging day by day like for real for real so um today is um saturday so um i just did kishara's makeup you guys see the mess i'm about to clean up um and i'm gonna get dressed myself and uh what am i gonna do get ready you see what a little skincare will do baby brought me to life uh yes all right now i don't feel so so crappy i'm not gonna lie i woke up this morning and i just was like not in the mood i wasn't in a bad mood but i just was like not I just feel like I haven't been getting sleep. It's like work, this, that, that, run around here and there, all that stuff. So I felt like I just wanted to sleep in today. Do my bun. I had to moisturize these lips, baby. I'm about to do this bun real quick. I need to find some hair because let me tell you, the issue with that ponytail, I'm gonna redo it because I really like the ponytail moment. But the issue with the ponytail was, um, yeah, we're in this messy closet. I don't think I've brought you guys into my second closet yet, but here we are. I think it's bigger than my other one. Maybe I'm tripping. It might be because my other bedroom is bigger than this one. So, you know, normally they like compromise, like they'll give you a bigger closet because you have less room space or something. So I think this one's bigger. But anyways, neither here nor there. Um, so the issue with my ponytail was the hair itself um it just was like when i was wrapping it it was tangling up and that was like messing up my vibe so i couldn't get it nice and smooth the way that i wanted so i need to find a regular human hair bundle of any texture so i could do this bun and call it a day honey um so i gotta show you guys this i went to ulta yesterday again to get um <coughs> to get perfume and uh perfume um but i got this fenty um diamond bomb but i got the shade 
rose rave because it's just a little bit warmer i love the other one the original one but it's just like a little bit too silvery like i don't mind it sometime but i just think it's just a bit much this one is pretty they need to come out with like a um this up. They need to come out with a gold or champagne-ish kind of one. But this is pretty. I like that. Um, and I've kind of been putting highlight on my face. Yeah, I just like this one because it's like spaced out, glittery. Like it's just like fun. I mean, you guys probably can't see it, but I've just been liking that. So I just want to show you guys. But I'm not gonna lie. Um, I never paid attention to the price. This was forty dollars. $4 for a highlighter? I mean, I understand it's like a unique formula, but like, yikes. Yikes. What you know? It's what I've been liking. It's just like so much. Let me see if I can show you guys. It's just more of like a wet skin kind of look once it once you spray your face and it melts down. Let me tell y'all something about this pretty little thing outfit. It is terrible, okay? Um, I know my bun's lopsided. It just is what it is. Why is it so big? Like, it is so big, you guys. Like, there's like no way of making this cute. But again, we're, I'm going to my friend's house, so like, I'm not mad at it, and it's kind of like appropriate. So I'm gonna wear it. I'm gonna like twist it up. But it's so big that like you can't even really tie it cute for real because it just looks so bulky. Like, I hate that. And then if you tuck it in, it's like hella like big and like. Ugh. But I'm gonna um hurry up and get ready. This is what I'm looking like, my face. You know, I have on my lav style jewelry. I have a um, coupon code with them now. I will leave it on the screen or down below. I think it's like Tasha15 or something. I'm gonna double check. But I do have a coupon code with them because I loves them. So yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then if I don't check back in with you guys, Billie Eilish is the fragrance of choice today. As my shirt's half tucked in. I'm gonna do, I'm about to pull an Aaliyah and tuck it in my bra <laughs> i think that's the best way it's really big though honestly this is the best it's gonna get i really want to cut this shirt because it is so bunched into my bra that it is not funny but yeah i'll put pretty little things jewels laugh style and these lily palooza sandals um and i'm just gonna carry my little mark jacobs bag it's mint very springy like, I really want to cut this shirt, but then, like, what if I want to untuck the shirt, right? And then I was going to leave it down, right? But then I got oil stain on it. <sighs> I'm just a mess. <sighs> but this is how I'm looking. Stupid per usual. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm about to head out. Taylor should be here any second. She said she wasn't going to be here in five minutes, and she lives, like, two seconds away. So, I'm confused. But Taylor's version of two minutes or five minutes is an hour. I got black car revoked, like she asked. If I actually like my outfit, I will put on rings, but I don't, so. <laughs> One thing about us, hey we're gonna be late, right? <laughs> I mean, uh, she talking about 2.45, it's so three o'clock. Mm -hmm. Is the food there? Is it is it prepared? I'm hungry. <laughs> Starving. <laughs> Cause we currently sit in the Chick-fil-A line. <laughs> Shh, <dang. laughs> eat before we eat <laughs> because it's gonna be a while before we eat oh i left my lip glosses at home that makes me sad oh what kind of lip gloss you got on fenty oh excuse me girl you know this is dangling what's going on because <laughs> it's the ankle but like whose ankle is that being <laughs> fashion it's giving me fashion. fashion not fashion fashion fashion, fashion. That's okay oh, good. thank God. you so good. What? Your nails. Oh, thank you so much. Aren't they beautiful? Thank you. Those are like the best ones I've seen in this record. Oh, thank Ooh. you. I love that. Why do you do me like that? Could you? <laughs> 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 oh, I'm so zoomed in. Oh my gosh. Fabulous though. I love it. She rocking stilettos. It is. Yes. The Gucci pumps. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. My little fashionista. You know, I'm so. Hey, y'all. How y'all doing? <laughs> this is for you. Thanks, girl. Oh, thank you. You. Oh. Hold on. Oh. Hey, you ready, girl? Thank you, girl. Thank you. You're very welcome. Hi, everyone. Hey, Hello. Christina. Yo. I'm making a change today. The nigga been taking a pain away. I heard you was giving your chain away. It's kind of like giving your fame away. What's wrong with you? I said.
fit in a box where the all is cool. A boss is a road that I grown it to. I love you to death, but I told you the truth. I can't just be with you, I'm only you. I got one virtue, got one in the dance, the only two. And how many times have I shown it through? Man, how many nights I've been woke, swerving the potholes? Not trying to fuck up the wheels on the road, okay? Funny how life goes. He thought he was sick, now we wiping his nose, okay? Soon as you give him your soul, you blow up and they say you're selling your soul, okay? Then when my life is stolen, I got on my Sunday's vest. She keep coming for me, y'all. She keep coming for me, Coming to Why? Why, though? Period. Oh, it's ready. Cats get ready. Yes. Wanna know about the highs and lows? Well, summer all I did was rest. Okay, and New Year's all I did was stretch. Okay. Hi, friend. Don't you dare say nothing stupid. Yeah. Let me know. Give cue me. Yeah. Oh, you're on. Oh. I would like to say I'm so appreciative Drama. for making it again for the second time officially <laughs> to the the infamous Tasha Washa's um, YouTube page. We are now officially departing way. She's about to head to her boom boom room. As you go to yours? No, no, I don't have one. No, I don't, you, you I don't believe in such things, Hush. You said this no, was my time. You, you said, you said no, this was my time. But you said boom boom this room This was first. my time. You... Do not be ashamed of your boom boom room. Embrace your boom boom. Okay? Embrace the boom boom room. <laughs> All right, guys. Mwah. I love you guys. You guys have an amazing, absolutely phenomenal, <laughs> and I do mean phenomenal night.